Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Back to Basics. Uh, as we see, we are still here on the first night with the spider and the squid outside. Hmm. wonder why they're looking at each other. There's gonna be a fight. Anyway, okay, so what I planned on doing tonight is uh, we need to survive the first night. If you guys don't know, uh, as I said in the last episode, mean... Mobs are gonna spawn and try to kill us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna forge our first night down in the cave, or, or down in a tunneling system where we are gonna try to find a cave. Um, I'm not. Ooh, what is this actually? This is called diorite. Diorite, I believe, can be smoothed by putting into a furnace, but I'm not 100% sure on that. That is that is one of the blocks that was added here in 1.8. Like I like I was saying though, we are going to keep uh, going down this way until we run into a cave or a cavern. Uh, so that we can get some resources for ourselves, hopefully make some better weapons, and um, all in all survive the night, and, and hopefully maybe we can get some armor going, because that would be very awesome. Um, I just realized we don't have a chest, but we are carrying a lot of uh, items. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest. The chest uh, caught, needs eight planks uh, in a fashion like this. And we can go ahead and set this down, and I believe it is 27 uh, slots that are available. Uh, when you place a chest, 27 slots open. Uh, and then you can just uh, drag and drop things in by clicking it in, obviously. Or as you just saw me do, you can press shift and click, and it will auto snap into the chest. So why don't we just, like I said, store some things that we don't need. We'll keep we'll keep some things out, obviously, because you always want to keep a little bit of wood on you. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the cobble right away, even though we probably will need to make a new stone pickaxe unless we run into some iron here fairly soon. I'm not too worried about it, though. We don't need a wooden axe. We don't need a shovel. We'll keep our, our sword on us, even though it's not a very strong one. Actually, now that I think about it, we should make our next sword, uh, which is... Our stone sword, which is a little bit more protection. Here, let me pull up the information on that real quick. Uh, the stone sword has the same durability as every other stone tool, 132, and the and it can do three hearts of damage per hit. So it's a uh, six health total, I believe. Um, there's a cow outside. Anyway, yeah, so it does extra damage compared to the wooden sword, which is only two and a half hearts of damage. Um, and it, with its longer durability, it's obviously a, a, a better sword to carry. There are better swords in the game, of course. Um, yeah, so what we're doing, we are digging down. Ooh, this is another block we haven't run into yet. I probably should have brought the shovel, but that's all right. Um, we'll make ourselves some more torches as well. Only four more, but that's all right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get this block. This block is called gravel. Uh, it, what makes it different from a lot of blocks in Minecraft, you may notice that, that the roofs are not caving in on me or anything. Uh, this actually is dependent on gravity. So it, it has it. the rules of gravity apply to it. Uh, the laws of gravity, unlike obviously the stone above us um, now a, a, a pro tip that you could do uh, a lot of people know about it already but if you don't um, this is one you you mine the block correct and then you right click with your torch so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to do it very fast and it will mine those using the gravity um, it's something that's been in minecraft for a very long time uh, and it's nice because it doesn't use any durability on any tools and if you're looking for iron, very quick, or not iron, gravel, quickly, or, or even iron, yeah, uh, cave systems, anything, you can you can use this method, and it's actually a lot quicker than it would be to mine everything out with a shovel if you don't have a strong shovel. Sometimes, obviously, it doesn't work, as you can see, but it's no big deal. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that. I don't think we're going we're gonna to excavate all of that gravel. I may do so at another time, but for right now, I don't think we really need to, um, unless it proves... That we can never, we cannot find a cave at all. Oh, and here we have our next resource. This is our first resource that we've actually run into in this series. It is iron. These are blocks of iron that hold iron ore inside of them. Usually they come in veins. That was what they're called, uh, veins of iron ore or veins of coal or veins of whatever. Um, these obviously, I don't know the exact stats on the numbers, but you're usually going to find between like three and six or seven. Um... As far as how many how many pieces you're gonna get, we got lucky there, and we had a, we had a higher number, which was eight. Uh, in my experience, those are the numbers I have found though. Um, so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna come. Oh, it's become daytime, so we're gonna go outside after this. But we have our steak that we cooked last episode, 
And with this, we are going to, oh, wrong slot. We're going to put our iron ore into the furnace, and then we are going to put our wood planks in here. We'll let that cook. Um, may not be the best choice, but it's all right. We, we still need to find ourselves coal. So, we, but we'll let that we'll let that cook. We'll, we'll turn that into maybe a sword or a pickaxe. Um, when we get back home, I did want to go out for an adventure, but first, I think we should probably mark our home. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do yet. I, I'll, I'll have to think. Uh, I think I know what I want to do, actually. We are going to make boom, 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 right? And then how about this? And then this. Um, there we go. This is not going to look very good, but it's okay. Hup. Ow. Ow. Boom! It's an R! There, now we can see where our home is. No problem. Okay, so let's go on our walk. I'm taking damage, but because my health is so full, if you have one uh, more, if you have full health, your, your health, I mean, if you have full food, I apologize. If you have full food, then your health will regenerate. See how my food just went down there? That's because I sprint and I jump, and that, that wears down your food faster. But obviously, the food that we have from the animals will replenish that. And as long as it stays over over the one, like as long as no hunger is missing, you will be able to uh, regain health at a normal rate. Um, I'm just getting up here so we can take a look around. Ooh, there is something over there we can go check out. Oh, and oh, I see a lot of very cool things. So I think our first thing we do is going to be collect a little bit more wood just because we, then we can get around a little bit quicker with our, our next part of what we are going to do. Um, uh, that should be good, actually. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. We're going to make birch planks, and we need to make another crafting bench because we didn't bring ours with us from our home. We're going to set that down. And then we're going to make a U pattern with the wood like like so, and we get a boat. And our boat will carry us across water. Now, boats have not been very... <laughs> I should say this before we get in the water. Boats have not been the greatest in Minecraft. Um, their durability has always been very weak. Like if you hit a squid out there, or if you if you yeah if you run into anything like that, you, you can you can destroy a boat very quickly. You usually get I think two planks and a stick for a broken boat. Uh, if you wanted to know the health of a of a squid, by the way, it is five hearts or ten health. Um, yeah, and over here, this is what I wanted to show you. This is called sugar cane. Sugar cane can be used, obviously, to be put into sugar, which I believe go into cakes. And there goes our boat. We'll have to go swim after that. Put into cakes by doing this, and you get a piece of sugar. Or if you have a crafting table and you go ahead and set these three by one like this, you will get pieces of paper, which can be used in the construction of books, which I'm sure we will cover further down the road. Um, we're just going to collect some of this sugar cane so that we can build a nice farm over at our home. Okay, I'm just making sure our boat didn't leave us. We'll, we'll jump on over here really quick, and we'll grab this other sugar cane just so we have enough to start an abundant farm before, um, so that we don't waste time by waiting on like a few pieces to grow and then checking up on it every 10 minutes. We'll be, we'll be fine by having quite a few pieces. Okay, now we're going to run on over here, obviously, and go swim after our boat. Uh, you see underwater here, I have 10 bubbles of uh, air. And if I get under those 10 bubbles in this vanilla, you will actually start to lose hearts. Uh, it's a way to keep people from like just diving underwater for a long period of time, as well as it, you... you um, what? Are you recording? I am recording. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Okay, everybody, I'm sorry about that. A little slight interruption. No big deal, though. Uh, we are headed over here to see two important blocks that I saw off in the distance. Our first on the ground you can see here is a melon. Melons uh, can be used for melon slices, which you can eat. Um, and they can be grown like any other food source in the game, or most food sources in the game. You'll see here we have our melon pieces once we break the block. And you get four pieces, and I don't know exactly how many you need. Nope, it is not four. I believe it is nine pieces of melon in order to create a actual melon again out of the melon slices. But you can see if we go ahead and put them in here instead of eating them, we'll get melon seeds, which we're going to do with all of the seeds just because it's probably a better choice to grow and have a melon farm. Our next block that I was very interested in to see was the, our cocoa beans. These cocoa beans can be used as a brown dye 
or be used in the crafting of cookies. And who doesn't like cookies? Oh, here's another thing that we need to look at. This is a, a an egg uh, dropped by the chickens. Uh, I absolutely hate chickens if you did not know because they they just i mean if you have one and then you decide to pick up their eggs and throw them down you will just have unlimited chickens and it's, it drives me absolutely insane to have to worry about so we're gonna go ahead and kill this chicken if you don't know chickens have two hearts of health and because our sword i believe i said has three does three da hearts of health damage we should be able to kill it in one hit there we go and we get a piece of raw chicken that raw chicken can be cooked just like our raw beef was before Chickens also have a chance to drop feathers as well. The feathers can be used in the crafting of arrows, which can be used alongside of a bow instead of having to use a sword. On our way back, we see more cows, obviously. Uh, I, th I think we should kill a few more. No, actually, we'll leave a few. We'll f leave them to uh, get back here. We'll leave them here, and then if we ever want to breed them, then we will always have an option to do so. Um, just so that we don't get lost on how much food we need. Um, there are, are very, very good food sources, but beef is probably one of the most saturating and one of the, one of the most filling. That means like fills up most of your hunger bar, which is very, very important when it comes to um, when it comes to playing Minecraft. Uh, the hunger bar was not always in Minecraft. Actually. Um, uh, contrary to popular belief uh, by many new players, the hunger bar was implemented um, not too long ago, but it was still it was still a period of time where you can remember that uh, the food would just actually heal hearts instead of instead of hunger, and. On that base, obviously, it was a little bit too overpowered because then you can just get in a fight, and then as long as you continue eating, nobody's going to be able to kill you. Um, there still wasn't eat time for everything, but I think I think the eat times were extended due to. Um, oh, hey, we got another achievement. Uh, the eat times were extended due to making it fair. Where do we find our achievements? I have completely forgotten. Isn't that awesome? Just that quick. There we go. Achievements. Well, looked right past it. No problem. Okay, so we just got which one? We got acquiring hardware. Awesome. Okay, so we got hot topic. And oh, we still we still need to go fishing. We need to make fish. Okay, we we have acquire hardware now, and now we need to get to the diamonds, of course. So we we must go digging further down. But first, we need to find coal. And I figured we'd try to find coal in a. Um, in like a cave or a cavern that we run into. I'd much rather do it like that than have to strip mine like we have been doing so far. Um, it, we have five pieces of iron still. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and craft our first. No, actually we'll keep it and we'll just we'll just make sure we'll stay safe. We'll, keep, we'll take two pieces out. We'll make ourselves a nice sturdy sword which do seven ticks of health or three and a half hearts of damage just uh, half a heart more than the stone sword but it is it is absolutely important you guys would be amazed the difference between the two including the durability of the armor we're gonna go ahead and bring ourselves a little bit more uh, wood before we head back out uh, as you can see you can see the sun setting or you can see the sun rising off in the distance uh, you can see if you look I'll keep my my see how I keep if I keep my mouse in the same spot you can see how it's moving down closer to that and past it. That's because the sun and the times are always changing. That's how we know when nighttime's coming. Um, yeah, and, and so let's go ahead and see if we can't find a cave. I think I spotted one a little bit ago, but I'm not for sure because it, it looked like it was in the middle of an island I remember seeing. Uh, oh, it's over here. Yeah, there's one in like the middle of this island over here, but we'll see. I didn't grab my boat because I got really mad that it... It floated away from us, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swim over here. Um, this may this may be a fatal choice, by the way, coming out at night and and worry about mobs. Ooh, hello. What do we have in here? Okay, so this is not an ooh hello at all. It's not. It's just a little hole in the ground. No big deal. Um, but what we will do is we will go ahead and dig this, so I can show you the next thing. This is water flow. Water flow will only last up to eight blocks and it will spread. Now I did that because in case we're, we're I don't know, maybe let's say running, right, and we fall in this hole, then we'll have an easy way out. We won't have to dig a bunch of places. We'll just be able to swim right up that waterfall, um, evading whatever might try to kill us, whatever. Uh, 
this is another pet peeve of mine, but we're not going to go up there because we have one of our first mobs, which I, I did not explain yet. It's called a witch. Witches will throw potions. Potions that do a lot of damage. When you kill a witch, it'll drop things that make potions. But we're not going to worry about it right now. We're just going to run. We're going to run, 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 run. No, 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 no. Let's go, go, go. We'll have to do another night of caving. Okay. Okay, so I know I know that this this is like it's not super exciting you guys, but it's going to pick up in a little bit once we have a few things set in place as well as I think we should probably take out the next step of these. If you do three high ones instead of two high, then you see how I hit my head like that? If you take that out, then I just glide right past it. And if we do that the whole way down, then going down these stairs and up will actually be a little bit quicker, I believe. So we'll do that right now. And we'll make sure we place our torches, remember, so that we don't get killed. We're going to need a little bit of food, which will run up back to the top in a little bit. I just I just had a feeling there might be a cave around here. I don't know yet. Um, if not, next before next episode, I will find us a cave uh, linked in here. And then we'll be able to search the cave together, obviously. I won't do any of the, the, the cave... There was a skeleton noise. See? Hear it? I won't do any of the cave diving, obviously, without you guys. Oh, hey, iron. Cool. So, obviously, iron is mined faster with iron. And and it, depending on what sort of pickaxe you have, the more you have. Oh, this is another plentiful vein, actually. We are very lucky. Awesome. So, we have some more. Now, this is a new block. I'm not quite sure what the name is yet. I'll have to do some research on it. But it's granite, I think. Or is it, is it pronounced granite? I'm, I'm like 99% sure it's granite. But uh, I know that it can be made into smooth smooth granite as well, which is awesome because then we have things to decorate the house we are going to build. Because we're not going to live in this hidey hole forever, I hope. We might, but I hope we're not. It's whatever, though. We, uh... We're just going to collect some of that, you know, just to be safe. And we'll go back up to the surface now. I'm really disappointed we still have not found any coal, which means that we can't really smelt this iron ore quite yet. It's not an issue, though. We'll we'll persevere through this night, and then we'll go out and we'll chop down more trees if we must in order to survive. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take this raw beef. We're gonna cook the raw beef in there, and then when that beef is done, we will put or when when yeah when that piece of wood is gone, now we can put another one in, even though it's a different source that we're using to cook. Uh, will will we be able to eat some beef now? Ah, oh, that is nice, huh? Nice and full. Flirting with disaster here. Okay, we're just gonna stay inside. I'm still scared. Okay, we'll uh, clear out this roof section like I explained before. While we wait on that other beef to cook. There we go. And if you guys didn't notice, I missed it, but we have a cave right here. Um... Lucky we lit it up right here, too, because that would have spawned uh, uh, mobs for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this out. Hopefully he wants to come get us now. That's a, This is our first mob. It's called a, or one, of, one of our first of the original mobs. It's called a skeleton. It has 10 hearts of health or 20 ticks of damage, just like we do. So if you want to imagine it like that. Now, because our sword is three and a half hearts of health it does three and a half hearts of damage it's going to take three hits to kill the skeleton so let's go see if we can one two three there we go we got our first achievement for killing a normal mob let me go ahead and light up this area before we take a look at that that should be good okay so we're going to go ahead and look at our achievements oh wrong place achievements and we will go to monster hunter here it is monster hunter attack and destroy a monster awesome taken Okay, and then our next one is getting a bow and, and shooting a skeleton from a long distance, which is not the easiest thing to do, but it'll be doable, I'm sure. Go ahead and block off this water and see if there's anything else in here for us. Always check under the water, remember? Um, because there could be ores, like like coal or iron or, di or uh, gold or diamonds. Diamonds are usually at a lower level. Um, that'll be explained later on, though. So yeah, that's our first, our little first randomly generated cave. We have a nice supply of water if we need to grab it for inside the house if we're building something. Or inside this hidey hole, I guess, when we're building something. Our house is obviously going to be a little bit higher class than this. Um, I, I, I want to do a little bit with the aesthetics and I want to explain to you how like a lot of things work. 
Um, I'd rather not just like have a hole in the ground that we, we constantly live out of. Um, but yeah. I think we pretty much wrapped up uh, all I wanted to cover in this episode. We'll go ahead and light up this last section. Let's hope that no mobs can spawn down here because we are out of torches. I think we've covered everything that I wanted to cover this episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll continue our adventure to uh, in a few days. or Well, tomorrow, actually, for Minecraft because we're going to wait till it's daytime again. We are going to go searching for a cave. 